Hey everybody, it's Taylor Bonstorm, and I'd like to welcome you to a new LP that I'm doing on the channel. A couple weeks back, Josh ended up giving me, or not giving me, convinced me to purchase Mountain Blade Warband, and I sat down and I've played like a measly 20 hours of it. And because of that, and because of everything else, and because Josh, for some reason, thinks it'll be hilarious to watch me derp around and have no idea what the hell I'm doing with a video, I'm doing a Mountain Blade Warband playthrough. Um, I'm going to say this flat out right this instant, um, if you are into, like, watching this, uh, and are very much so, like, going to yell at me for, I don't know, words, I, I, I kind of lost where my train of thought was going, um, basically, the warning is, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, please don't judge that hard, I'm still learning the game, I know how to play it, I just don't know how to play it that well um i'm still like i said learning mechanics learning all that stuff um i've put 20 hours into the game i know how to play it it's just that some of the mechanics some of the stuff is, is a little meh anyway so with that i'm gonna start this and you guys are gonna probably make fun of me at oh, excuse me it's gonna be terrible and great and horrible and we're just gonna go with it all right welcome adventurer to mountain blade warband before beginning the game you must create your character blah 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 continue um i'm obviously gonna be a female i will you were born years ago in a land far away your father was an impoverished noble because i feel like that's the best way to start out you came into the world the daughter of declining nobility owning only the house in which you lived however despite your family's hardships they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy uh, aristocracy <laughs> words Aristocracy, 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 Jesus Christ, can I read? Anyway, and shut up, shut up, Josh, and life at the court, at court, whatever. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a page at a nobleman's court. As a girl growing out of childhood, you were sent to live in the court of one of the nobles of the land. There, you fir there your first lessons were in humility as you waited upon the lords and ladies of the household, but from the chess games, their gossip, even the poetry of great deeds and courtly love, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You also learned from the rough games of the other children who battered at each other with sticks in imitation of their elder swords. Then, as a young adult, life became uh, changed, as it always does. You became a university student, because I don't want to be a lady-in-waiting. Screw being a lady-in-waiting. Um, through Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a woman and the whole world seemed to change around you. You found yourself as a student in the university of one of the great cities where you studied theology, philosophy, and medicine, but not all your lessons were learned in lecture halls. You may or may not have joined in with your fellows as they roamed the alleys in search of wine women in a good fight. Well, I probably wouldn't have been in search of women, but you know... However, you certainly were able to observe how a broken jaw is set or how an angry townsman can be persuaded to set down his club and accept cash compensation for the destruction of his shop. But soon everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was personal revenge. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it's not a difficult choice to leave. Um, with the rage burning brightly in your heart, you wouldn't want vengeance. You want justice. Justice! What was done to you cannot be undone, and that these depths can only be paid in blood. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. I'm going to choose the Derpy Cat banner and allow me to quit without saving. Okay, entering my name. I am Taylor Valenstorm because I don't want to think too hard about what my character is going to be named. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Alright, that's done. Okay, I don't care about the tutorial. That looks good enough. Done. 
Um, we're going to join the Kingdom of Swadia. You hear about Calradia, land torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, and or glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your po past behind, post behind, yes, apparently, and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Calradia and its kingdoms, I will join Swadia. Um, you came by caravan through the heartland of Calradia. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark, soiled, rolling hills. And on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass. It sounds so beautiful and amazing because it's terrible. That's, I don't know why, yeah. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the Swadian no uh, nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of the forests where desperate men have taken refuge and it is some relief when you crest the ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven. Its rooftops made golden by the light rays of the setting sun. Continue. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven and fall asleep quickly. However, you wake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the street where um, which are deserted. All of a sudden you hear a sound of, that stands the hair in your neck. Uh, Neck on end, the rasp of blade sliding from its scabbard. Woo, continuing. Um, not gonna lie, first time I played this game, I really, I really messed up. Okay. No, I don't want that. I want my sword. There we go. Let's find this bastard. But yeah, first time I played this game, I, I died. <laughs> I died. I did not survive that at all. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, that wasn't difficult to kill. Okay. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the, our... I don't know if that's a... Is that a... Okay, anyway. Um, say the same for our fellow, for the other fellow. That one's less thief to, uh, that's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening, and I think I have a bow sticking out of my head? Maybe? The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. But I have to go near him. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the streets, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. If you remember to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the uh, most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the wall to help them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly attempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prominent house out alone after dark in times like these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things have become. Had he not, he had no such excuse. But he's family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments, either. And I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with the blade, and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't be coming to Colorado to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting ingratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? I'm interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you uh, try to take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted, I'll warrant. You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work there uh, that's more interesting than tilling the soil and hauling water. They'll follow if you pay, so take the purse of 100 dinars, consider it in advance in your reward. Go round to the villages and ask the money to uh, uh, use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll collect some fin from around the villages. Good. You can find me again in the tavern here in Praven after you've got your group together. Then we can speak about what to do next. And I don't care about the quest log information. I know how to get out of here. Okay. Um, I know which direction I'm not going in. Let's... Yeah, I don't care about, you know, if whether I'm viewing the map and stuff. We're gonna go here. Recruit volunteers. 
All right, let's go to this one too, because I want to get a decent, decent group. Okay, cool. I have nine people on me. That's not going to be a bad start. Can I catch up to these guys? Yeah, sweet. Surrender or die, as you wish. Prepare to die. Charge the enemy. Yeah, I don't want. Thank you. Do 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 do. do. Yes, I like charging ahead. I'm a crazy person. Boop a doop 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 a doop. Okay, I'm gonna actually move now. Come on, buddies! Did I actually hit him? I don't think I did. Don't care. Nope, I killed a couple of these guys, so I'm already doing pretty decently. Yay! Um, also, I probably should mention this because I kind of forgot to right off the bat. Um, you won't be hearing any sound. Uh, for some reason, Mountain Blade, um, on my computer does not like playing sound correctly. It gets all staticky. staticky. I've tried using a couple of various fixes for it, and it hasn't done anything, so I don't know what exactly is going on there, but for some reason, yeah. Oh, hey, cool. Um, party. Infantry. Um, Okay. So, yeah, done. And you guys are already there. I'm not going to complain. Okay. I'm going to quickly go to the marketplace. Um, I'm going to trade with the goods merchant. Okay. And I'm going to sell this even though it's only for a few dinars. I'd rather, you know... Mmm, tempting. I am tempted to sell this. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to use it. I'll do better with other various things. Okay. Okay. I could sell that, but I don't really want to. Um, yeah, and I'm going to buy this. Is there anything else that I want? No. Um, return. Okay, cool. Head back, and then we're going to visit the tavern. But yeah, the sound doesn't work, and I tried fixing it, and it hasn't done anything. So there's that. Um, traveler, caravan guard. Okay. Splendid work. You have hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travelers entering Praven have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking in the outside of town. I suspect that they are all from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them and make them disclose the location of their lair. I shall hunt for the bandits. Leave. Um, okay. And they're over in the town. There they are. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha! Those prisoners are only going free if you pay the ransom. Did you bring silver? No, but I brought steel. Let's charge the enemy. We only have four. It's not going to be hard. Alright. Yeah, I want my sword. There we go. Yay, riding down hills. Awkwardly. <laughs> da, 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 da. There they are. Hi, buddies. And I'm going to miss all of you. Mostly because I'm not trying that hard. Hi, buddy. I'm really, yeah, really bad at this. Eh. I should probably slow down the horse, but I don't want to. Because I'm lazy. And shoot. Shoot. Move. Move. There we go. 
Yeah, he knocked you unconscious. There we go. I killed somebody. Woo! Roar! Roar! No, I don't want to retreat. There we go. Ay, spare me! Spare my life! Let me go and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade and you'll never hear from me again! I'll spare your life, but in exchange I want information. Either you or your mates kidnapped the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you... You're hiding him, and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts, and you can go free. Oh, bless you, my lady, bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've g been keeping him in our hideout near Gissim. I'll describe the area nearby in detail so there's no mistaking it. And, yeah, you're both being captured. Done. And I'm taking your stuff. And I'm going to wait a, few, a little bit before doing anything. Return. Alright, I'm going to head to Prey then. Okay, um, we're going to go to the marketplace. And I'm going to sell this crap. Better than my current armor. It's forehead armor. Um, eh. There we go. Return. Um, head back. I'm going to visit the tavern. Traveler. There's the merchant. Caravan guard. Meh. Okay, tab. Wait here for some time. Because I do want to... Uh, kind of, you know... Not all right. And get some, get some, get some. Get some. Let's okay. Oh, that's a little ways, but that's fine. Um, leave. And let's head to the hideout. And hopefully, there's somebody there next time that I can sell my uh, captors to. My cap, yeah, my my captors, not my captors, my freaking prisoners words attack the hideout do to do to do Ah, not what I wanted to press. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. Ah, hi, buddy. Okay, this guy's dead. That guy's dead. Woo. Like, super dead. Jeez. Um... Trying to climb up the hill is very slow flipping progress, man. And I don't think there's anybody up the hill anymore. So, yeah, I'm not climbing up the hill anymore. Um, where are other people, potentially? Let's see. Hmm. Well, apparently... Oh. I guess I'm blind. Oh, that's... Okay. Oh. There's somebody back this way, I think. Well then. Thank you, thank you, my lady, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother and Praven put you into their track? Or onto their track? Whatever. Yes, I told them that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can and be careful on the road. With their retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack. Their hideout and their ill-gotten gains are now yours. Continue. Alright, 14 leg armor? Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. Alright, 26. That's better than my 25 currently. I'm just gonna keep switching it out if I keep finding better. 
Butchering my rusty clubs. I mean, it's only going to give me a couple dinars, but I don't really care. I, I, I purchase it and then sell it. Return. Alright, that's done. Let us, uh, Go back to Praven as soon as I figure out where I'm going. Boop. Da 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 da. Yes, that was totally necessary. You cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> All right. Is it the tavern? Um, yes, keep your distance, but by the way. My apologies, I was merely going to say that you look a bit down on your luck. My luck? You could say that. It was my bad luck to be born to a weak father who married me off to a drunken layabout who beat me. It was my bad luck when I ran away from my husband to be taken by a group of bandits. It was my bad luck that the only one among them who was kind to me, who taught me to hunt and fight, to inspired the jealousy of, of, of the others who knifed him and forced me to run away again. But I do not count myself unlucky, stranger, no more than any other woman of Calradia. This fetch... Uh, Fetid, whatever, backwater, this dung heap among the nations populated by apes and jackals. Hmm, are you by chance looking for work? I might be. I could certainly use the money. But let your followers know that I do not suffer louts and brutes. Anyone who misbehaves around me will quickly find the uh, an arrow in their gullet. I'll, I will hire you. Try not to shoot anyone on your first day. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Sweet. Well, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to the university outside Calradia. That way, if he gets knocked on the head on in a street brawl, no one can say it was my fault. Um, but that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It was well earned. The money is most welcome, and I'm glad to have been of service. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. Captain of the Watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from the trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to the commerce, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities, and of course his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. As a consequence, it seems our captain turned to a villainy to recoup his fortune. I supposed I'd do the same if the heavens forbid I ever faced indebtedness and ruination. And now, any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform on the rest. But our captain decides to employ these bastards wholesale. He brings them into the town, lets them do as they will, and takes a share of their take. You've heard of poachers turning gamekeepers. Well, in unfortunate lands of Calradia, sometimes gamekeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, there are still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who've told me how he works. This sentence bothers the ever-living snot out of me because it says, luckily, there's are still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who've told me how this works. Theirs should not be apostrophe. There should not be an S on there. It should just be there are still. And, or there's still a few brave, honest souls. It's just, you put theirs or are. You don't have the two of them because their implements there is. And therefore, it, yeah, no. Fix it. Ah! Grammar Nazi moment. I'm, I regret nothing. Okay, now here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of King Harless, Lord of the City, but that would mean an inquiry. My word against the captains and witnesses can be bought and evidence can be destroyed. Or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border and again, and I'll get from my, all I'll get from my troubles a knife in the ribs. In time of war, you see, a king's eye wanders far from his domain and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ, and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits. We've stormed the captain's home, bring him in chains before King Harless, hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need now is something, someone to lead my little army into battle, and I can't think of anything better than you. What do you say? Uh, do I know you're not telling, you're telling me the truth? 
Ah, uh, well, I suppose it, um, it's possible I found a dozen bandits who are willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in Old Praven. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good. There's another hundred dinars or maybe a little more that's waiting for you if you do me this little favor. So what do you say? All right, I'll lead your men. Splendid. It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice, and frankly, I find it exhilarating. Men, my men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Yes, give me the sign. Good. Now strike hard and fast. And the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit them. You may the heavens be with you. And now you leave the tavern, go out the street. Nervous-looking young men are waiting in every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes and catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in their quick looks they throw at you as you pass by. Praying that your enemies have not been alarmed by this all-too-obvious bunch of plotters, you check your weapons for one less time and prepare yourself for the action ahead. Woo! It's time, lads, up and at him. All right. Boop, ba doop, ba doop. Na 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 na. Jeez. Whoop a doop a doop a doop a doop. And here comes another one. Oh, whoops, I turned around before I realized that he was not dead. Okay, die! Die! There we go. Uh, the remaining few bandits scatter off to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down one by one by the angry townsfolk, making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of. You and the merchant head to the house and review the day's events. Continue. Well done. I know I saw at least three of the enemy go down before you. Keep fighting like that, and you'll make quite a name for yourself in this land. Unfortunately, about seven of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look on them. Let every villain learn to fear the name Taylor Valenstorm. Yes, yes. Now a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down the back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him back before the king and explain what this breach of peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that, though. I'll tell you what, if all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of town for a while and forget this whole episode ever happened. So hopefully we'll meet again. All right. And I'm going to go to the marketplace. Quickly sell all my stuff. Because, again, a few bits of money will never be looked down upon. Do, do, do. Don't know why I play this game a little bit smarter. Um... Get return. Armor's Merchant. What do I have? I have a rusty sword. How much are these things? Quite a bit. Um, wouldn't be a bad purchase. Uh, yeah, I'll take this and purchase and return. Okay. Um, head back. Gonna go to the tavern real quick. Ah, Taylor Valenstorm. Things didn't go quite as well as I had hoped. King Harless couldn't quite find it in him to overlook my little breach of the peace. Oh, he's grateful enough that I got rid of his crooked captain, a guard who let in, uh, let in bandits will let in an enemy army, if the price is right. But he can't exactly have me running around here as a last reminder of his failure to take care of things himself. That hardly seems fair. 
Fair, this is Caloradia, my lady. Kings do what they will, and the rest of us do as they must. He didn't string me up, and instead gave me time to sell my properties. Even put in a word for the other merchants that they best pay me a fair price, too. That's gracious enough, as kings go. But he's a weak king, and they all are here, and weak kings must always look to their authority first and justice second. I suppose I do the same in his shoes. Anyway, I wouldn't go robbing, uh, robbing your part, um... In this affair in King Harless's face, but he's taken note of you and decided that you're not worth hanging, and that's something in which um, I'll raise a glass any day of the week, too. Uh, he might even have work for you uh, further down the road, or you can sell your sword to one of the, his competitors. Anyway, I hope you've learned a bit about what it will take to stay alive in this troubled land, as I suspect that the money you've earned won't go to waste. Good luck. All right, and with that, um, since the tutorial's basically done and we're going to basically be going out and doing our own thing, I'm going to end this episode off here. If you liked it, press that uh, like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and to join our team. We've seen an influx in, a, in people coming in, and it's hard to believe that we've gone from 62 subscribers, which was a pretty steady number that we've had for months, to 77 in the past like week. Uh, we're really excited about that. We're really looking forward to what's all going on here. And I can only hope that you guys enjoy what we're doing and providing for you. So have a good day, guys.